Hi guys, it's Tiff. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, we are in baby girl's room. I keep calling it a nursery and my family are like, it's not a nursery. Well, it is, isn't it? But I think it's because nursery is more of an American term. So I'm still yet to do a nursery reveal. I just feel like there's something missing in here and I don't know what it is. So I need to try and figure it out and then I can do something about it and then we can do the nursery reveal. But anyway, hello. As you would have seen, I put my bump on full view today. Um, but to be honest guys, this is the most like comfortable attire. I feel like I'm just basically naked, so I might need to come up a little bit. But this is like the most comfortable attire at the moment because anything I wear is just like, constrictive basically anyway that's enough rambling so i thought today i would do the second trimester symptoms video i've been meaning to do this for ages but i just couldn't be bothered if i'm honest <laughs> like i don't know if you if you're heavily pregnant right now anything and when i say anything i mean anything is just a big fat chore but we've made it here we are so i'm gonna give myself a pat on the back for that Anyway, I think I'm just going to jump straight into it. I'm sure I made a list. This window's open and I don't know if I should close it. Otherwise, the curtain's just going to keep blowing in my face. Yeah, I'll do that. BRB. <sighs> right, okay. Where was we? Let me just get my list up. Okay, so the first symptom I have down here is breathlessness. And this is still a thing, obviously, now but it started in the in the second trimester and that's obviously because well, i don't know if it's obvious because it you know it wasn't obvious to me until i researched it and i was like actually that is pretty obvious but anyway when as your uterus grows all of your other organs including your lungs like get pushed upwards so because your lungs are basically being squashed you don't have as much room i suppose to be able to breathe so yeah breathlessness was and still is even more now a massive thing like just walking to, from the front room to the kitchen i'd be like <sighs> and like, even connor would be like are you okay i'm like yes i'm fine i just need to catch my breath so that that's the first thing i've got here um the second thing is still emotional sensitive um again still is a thing now but definitely i would say though in the first trimester i was much more emotional and sensitive in the second trimester yes that still was a thing but i don't feel like it was as much and i actually there's another symptom here i don't know if it's a symptom per se but i've written it down but one of the other things is like a clear mindset so I actually said this to my mum a few months ago since being pregnant I feel like mentally it's the most stable I've ever been and I don't know whether that's because I'm not going out I'm not drinking I'm not staying out late like I'm looking after my body I'm eating well I mean probably yeah that is definitely what it is because all of those things will impact your mental health but since being pregnant, I think I feel like I can rationalise things a lot better, even though sometimes like burning a piece of toast will send me over the edge because my hormones are all over the place. But in terms of like big decisions and not losing my mind, I feel like in pregnancy it's been a lot better. Um, but yeah, in terms of like just seeing things and dealing with things more rationally, 100% in pregnancy I've been able to do that a lot better I don't know if anyone else has experienced that but like I said it probably is to do with the fact that you know I'm eating well I'm going to bed at a like I when I say I'm going to bed at a, you know, a normal time I never was one of those people to stay up to one o'clock in the morning anyway I, I've always gone to bed early but I don't know like I'm, I just I feel like you when you're pregnant that is the most mindful you'll ever be about looking after your body and what you're putting into your body because you want to make sure your baby's getting the best of everything. So I don't know, it probably is to do with that. I don't know if anyone else has felt that way during pregnancy. 
in terms of like a clear mindset and being able to rationalize things a, a lot better but yeah let me know the next thing is this is a bit tmi so brace yourself um probably should have put a trigger warning at the beginning of this video actually like there are going to be some things that are a bit of tmi and gross but it is what it is so in the second trimester i noticed i was getting a lot more discharge like a lot more and that's continued until now and it will continue until i give birth because it's your body's way of trying to keep your baby safe and keep it clean down there so that's one of the less pleasant um symptoms we'll say so for anyone that's in the first trimester or something or things that have started to happen down there and you don't know if it's normal trust me darling it's normal and it's only going to continue so don't worry about it don't panic about it if you do want to talk to someone talk to your midwife but i'm sure they'll reassure you and say it's fine um depending on like you know if it smells or stuff then maybe it's not fine but <laughs> anyway usually nine times out of ten it's fine and it's normal oh my god yeah okay so during this pregnancy i have haven't really craved anything the only thing that i got a craving for and oh my god it was <laughs> the weirdest sensation it's like you can literally taste what you're craving in your mouth and what i was craving was like grilled like char grilled kebab chicken with cucumber together like i could literally taste it in my mouth like it was in there already and i was like i need that right now and yeah i did have it and yeah it was delicious that is the only craving i've had but then because they say that cravings your body craves stuff that it needs like nutrients for the baby the only thing i can think for chicken is protein and then cucumber is just made up of like 90 percent water so maybe i was just thirsty i don't know but yeah that's the only craving i've had since then i haven't had any other cravings so very odd the next thing is a blocked nose slash sight what are they called science sciences is that what they called i can't remember but even i don't know if you can hear now but even now i feel like all of these symptoms have just continued into my third trimester but anyway even now i just feel like i'm constantly blocked up like my nose is constantly just like blocked and i'm like how many times i blow my nose or if i like to try and use like what's called vix to clear my airways airways is that the right term well you know what i mean nothing it's just still there and apparently that is a thing during pregnancy so the body is a wonderful mysterious thing but so again if that's something you're struggling with in pregnancy don't be alarmed just go with the flow literally <laughs> the next thing is might also be a bit tmi but is what it is um so during pregnancy you will notice that your areolas which is like the ring around your boobies they become a lot darker and i didn't notice it in my first trimester at all and then when in the second trimester obviously I don't know like maybe i was getting changed or something and i was just like what the fuck why do they look so dark and apparently i'll give you another is it a science lesson i guess the reason they get darker is so your baby when the baby's born they can they can locate like they can see where your boobs are so they can feed like isn't that just so i honestly in this pregnancy my mind has been blown with how amazing our bodies are like how they change to make sure that we are able to care and look after our, our offspring basically so yeah apparently they do go back to their normal color if anyone's wondering um the next thing is my bump bumped <laughs> so in the first trimester i kept thinking like you know i don't know like as soon as you find out you're pregnant instantly you're like where's my bump you just feel like i don't know you know in sims where your sim gets pregnant and then like after three days like they're like Mmm and they just randomly just get a massive bump that's what i felt like should have happened but i'm a human not a sim so obviously that didn't happen 
um, I felt like in my second trimester and this was predomin predominantly, big word for Tiffany, when we was in Crete on our baby moon that my bump bumped and I was like oh my god I actually look pregnant and I was so relieved because it made me feel so much more confident around like the pool area. I didn't feel like I just looked bloated I was like people can tell that I'm pregnant and we actually went to and um, this is just a side story we went to like a what's it called a beach club there you are went to a beach club when we was in crew and the guy and I was like laying on the sunbed like you know like a beach while just laying there and he came over to Connor with like the drinks menu and he was like, oh like do you want a drink do you want a drink and he looked at me and was like oh he was like you're pregnant I was like Yes, I am. Thank you for noticing. But I think then he said that because he was like, so you can't drink, so you can't spend any money here, so you're useless to me. And I was like, oh, I can have a mocktail, I guess. But yeah, anyway, the bump bumped in the second trimester and she's continued to bump. And especially in this third trimester, she is just growing rapidly. And then the final thing I have on here is my energy levels returns. Now, everyone says this and it is so bloody true first trimester you feel like deaf because your body is like in shock I guess like okay this is what we're doing like we're growing a baby let's just pull every single resource we can from your body and put it into this embryo basically and then in the second trimester you get like a new lease of life and I definitely did I was living my life, like, I felt good, my hair looked good, my skin looked good, like, my boobies were growing and I'm like part of the itty bitty titty committee alright so I was like I feel fine and then third trimester hits and that all just goes away, sorry to disappoint. I'm trying to think of any other symptoms, I think there probably were, I think there probably were a lot more symptoms in the second trimester but I forgot to write, write them down but yeah that's my second trimester symptom video i know i say this all the time i'm gonna try and upload more um i'm just lazy and pregnant what can i say like, i've got no other excuse really i am hoping that when i go on maternity leave i will be filming more because as you'll appreciate when you're working full time and you're pregnant it kind of takes it out of you you know so yeah hopefully on maternity leave i'll be filming more um i am a little bit disappointed in myself because I would have liked to have captured more of this journey of me growing our baby girl but it is what it is we already have loads of memories like pictures wise and just in our minds um but yeah thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this one and from me and baby girl we hope you have a lovely day and see you in the next one bye I mean, she is in full force, isn't she? She's in full swing. God.